Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to cover how do we handle frames, how do we switch in and out of a frame. So a frame or an iframe or an inline frame is a is what enables embedding of a web page into a, into an another web page. So I have few examples for you. So uh, here it is. So on this, this is one of the simplest uh, frames. Uh, uh, which you can see so this page has two uh, web frames one and two if i inspect over this so this is the first iframe you can identify it here it is iframe and second one is this first one has an id of frame one and second is a frame of i2 and in general how can you identify an iframe you just uh, right click over there and if you see options like view frame source, it means that this content is, is inside an iframe and you need to switch it. Uh, if you're on this web page and you are trying to get this element using any other identifier, you would not get that because this is a separate web page. You can see inside it is, it is of a different document type. It is It has its own HTML and all that thing, right? So you need to switch in and out of this frame. So this is this is a very simple page. So we'll cover that. And second one is again uh, Selenium Dev document type uh, doc doc helper, which which has two frames. So let's go by one by one, and we are going to identify uh, uh, this frame and move inside and capture this text over there. So let me jump into my Visual Studio, and we'll start the video now. So here it is my with Microsoft Visual Studio 2022. So I am recording this video. Uh, the NuGet packages which I have is uh, Selenium WebDriver of 4.5.1, and the Chrome driver I'm using is 106.4 and dot dot dot. So you must have this. So I created a unit testing project and I am not going to explain how do we initiate WebDriver, what is the thing. So this video is not for the extreme beginners. So I, so I'm assuming you know how do we initiate web drivers and how do we identify web elements. Okay, so first I'm going to write a few lines of code. So here we are initiali initializing our web driver for the driver of Chrome driver type. We are using uh, our URL which I showed you and now we are maximizing it. So now we need to go inside this web frame. So this iframe has an ID of frame one. So we'll move back here and let's try to identify this. So what we are going to do is we are going to use driver dot switch to dot. Now we need to have a frame which has an ID of, now you can see what kind of navigators do we have. Let me close this. So you have three times three types of uh, locators which you can use. One is frame index. If you have multiple frame index, frame the web element type and the frame name. So we need to use frame name here. So it is always better to copy. So we have a frame name of ninety one. So we're going to copy this. We're going to go here, paste this. So now this will identify this, and now. You can see this is the heading. Uh, it is of H1 type and only heading, so it is very easy to identify. So I'm using a basic one. So let us capture, try to capture this in. Uh, let's say we are capturing heading text. So now you can identify or you can find out this driver dot find element by dot now you have multiple identifiers so using tag name because it is very simple and only heading present inside the iframe and we are using text okay and now but again now you have switched your focuses on inside the frame so let me move back to my web page so now focus is inside web frame and in next step you are identifying any other element or finding any other button which is outside and you want to click over there you would not find so you need to switch back to the default content or the default web page 
for that you're going to write driver dot switch to again now you want to move on to default content and close this and again if you want to end this here you want to write driver dot quit so the browser closes and your session is complete so let us try to debug this test we have saved this let us right click click on debug tests so right now we have here so let us move on we have new driver so i'll open this as well so we have a new chrome browser instance we have provided the information that which web page we want to open and now we're going to maximize this window so that our frame gets loaded properly okay so now we're going to switch inside our frame and then the heading text this is a sample page which we have cap captured now we are switching to default content and now we are quitting so this is how a simple web frame can be handled but uh, let's move on to our typical one which which you can see over here so top type of here so now you can see there are two iframes there could be multiple iframes you never know so if you look inside this this is the first this is the first and this is the second i am writing it down first and second because i am identifying it visually so this is our default content so what when web page opens your focus is on there so now you have to move inside this uh, iframe and then if you want to move inside the second iframe this is not going to happen so now you need to go back to the default content and then move back uh, to the second web frame and then move back to the default content if you want to again click or select any other thing so if uh, there could be a scenario where uh, within an iframe you will get another iframe in that case you will switch first to the first iframe and then inside this iframe and then move back to default and then move back to the main web page so this is how the nav how the navigation is handled between iframes so we'll 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 see how uh, uh, how is, is this all handled so let me clear this and let us move back to our visual studio and see how we're going to handle this here so i've written a few lines of code already so we'll i'll try to uh, for the uh, sake of the video we're going to write it uh, quickly over here so again so this is the same thing so i am removing this remove this thing okay so now i am copy pasting my code this is nothing but same thing i have just changed the url so this is our url which we have frame so now we know there are two iframes so let's again focus so if we try to inspect this so this iframe has a name of package first name and inside this there is a head h2 title so there is a heading type of two called as packages and if i move to here the second uh, so this is a heading of h1 type and the package name is the frame name is package frame so we know what what uh, the name of these frames are so we can capture it easily so we can move in in and out very quickly okay so remember this thing so these are the two uh, iframes so again we are using the same thing driver dot switch to so the first uh, ins instead of here we're going to use the first element and heading text the first one has a heading type of two h2 okay so we will change this type h2 switch to default content this will move back to our head so we now now we are going to again uh, move to the second driver dot switch to dot frame name of the frame we are going to provide it here right and the name of the frame is it is always best to copy paste because you can make a typing mistake so here it is frame name again we'll copy this we'll paste this so we know the second has a 
all class heading which is of h1 type so we'll move to h type h1 and now again we will have to move back to our uh, sorry i'll move we have to move back to our main default content so we're going to write driver dot switch to dot default content so now we are back on to the main page so uh, as i have told you like you can have multiple types how we going to capture it you can also capture it by index you can also see how many type of web frames are there so let's say you want to check how many web type type of web frames are so uh, let's uh, let's take an integer type of uh, frames count and we're going to identify how many uh, web frames high frames are there so we will give you driver dot here the thing is we are not going to use find element but find elements because we are now dealing with multiple elements of a type and how do we identify it we're using by and i frames comes with an with a tag i frame so we're using tag of type i frame and we have we are trying to store it in a integer type so we're going to use count so we will capture how many frames are there if you want to switch or you want to find their ids and uh, play on around them you can again uh, create a collection over here read only collection of type but here you have to give an i web element type of uh, and you can name let's say you can name frames list or whatever or you can just name it frames here whichever suits you better again we will use same thing driver dot find elements because we are now we are dealing with of an array type or a collection type which which can have multiple values by tag name and we know which tag it can be founded so they are in, inside iframe we're going to close this now we're going to quit this right so let us try to debug it we'll we'll skip this one so that our video don't go too long so let us debug this test now again here you can to see uh, the new instance is open and it is maximized so you already have a title overview you can see the title is overview and now we're going to move inside we're going to see heading text now it is packages which is this one the the heading is of this iframe and then we have moved on to the uh, default content and then we have switched, switched to the uh, okay so we have made no 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 i think it is fine so the second one is switch, switch frame so we have moved on and we have captured the heading text or classes right and if you want to perform any, any action like click on anything you can do it right here before this default content okay so make sure you are when you are done with inside frame elements you are switching back to the default content now again this is going to find out how many total iframes we have so we have total iframes and you want to capture ids and play around them one by one uh, you can see we have total of three iframes and these are their ids and again we're going to just quit it so this was a short video of how do we handle frames how do we switch in and out of an iframe how do we find elements inside an iframe so if you found this video helpful please please like share and subscribe this helps a little bit and if you want me to make a full video of uh, 4.5 like how do we start from the beginning uh, please write on comments i'll try to uh, make a video for that as well so thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.